Well, no trip to the arcade is complete without some light gun blasting action, especially co-op style. So of course we're going to have a look at one of the games which is still one of the best around, Time Crisis 4. old machine now, dating back to 2006, and since then we've seen Time Crisis 4 pop up on the PS3, but its true home is clearly here in the arcade. Yes, and alongside us Bunny's House of the Dead and Virtua Cop, Time Crisis has been instrumental in training 90s kids, such as myself, to get that trigger finger going for the future FPSs which we play today. And not much has changed over the years really, but you still use a foot pedal to reload get out of cover and shoot waves of baddies. And once each area is clear, you move forward and, well, keep on shooting. Once you've taken three hits, you'll need to cough up some more cash for a continue. But I feel like with Time Crisis, you get a bit more bang for your buck, you know? You, you just last a bit longer. Yeah, House of the Dead, I die a lot in that game and I go through a lot of cash. Yeah, that is coming out of nowhere. <laughs> but this formula has evolved over time. Time Crisis 3 introduced more weapons. Use a shotgun. Use a shotgun. Here you had a machine gun, shotgun and grenade launcher to complement your trusty pistol. Shotgun. It's important to use the right gun for the right job and it adds a bit of strategy to the game. There's a suitably cheesy story and hammy voice acting to go along with the pew pew action. What are those things? Just take these for now. Who are you? I'll explain later. Let's get out of here. You play as one of two special agents. Thanks for rolling out the red carpet, guys. We discover a group of terrorists have got their hands on a secret weapon of insectoid robo-creatures. Codenamed Terabyte. And it just gets sillier from there. Badge, I don't really buy the fact that these guys are special agents. I mean, look at them. They look like a couple of rejects from a 70s porn film or something. <laughs> That's why I like them. I don't think they're going for believability here. And you don't really come to the arcade for much plot or character development. Yeah, I suppose not. Still, it's not a bad looking game considering its age. And I think it still stands up as a bit of fun to blast away at baddies with your friends. Oh! That was a waste of a missile. You've got all the gun with recoil, eh, Badge? Yeah, these light guns are so much better than the ones you get at home, too. But I do wish you could calibrate the gun at the start of the game. And they can be calibrated by the owner of the arcade, but I just feel like every time I'm aiming, I'm an inch away from where I actually think it's going to be. A good craftsman never blames his tools, Badge. I'm not a good craftsman, Tex. <laughs> All right, well, what are you giving it? This is a quintessential arcade experience for me. There's just something about it. You know, at home, I can take this or leave it on a console, but when you're in the arcade, there's just there's something that feels right about it. So I'm giving this 8 out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, it gets the blood pumping, and it's as satisfying as ever popping in and out of cover and popping off a few shots as the goons come flailing towards you. I'm giving it 8 as well. All right, another round? Yeah. 